Hello? What's good with it, Briscoe 100? Wow. Yes, good sir. Thank you, I'm saying you on line, Mr. Wilson on Wilson Block 100 Radio. What's the latest and greatest, man? Man, you know, the latest and greatest, I drop pressure. Let's go. From Spotify, iTunes, <laughs> it's, it's real shit, no fake. Then, yeah. on the 9th, I'm dropping the EP. Toxic. Toxic. Yeah, I just saw that, man. Why so soon? Because I got too many songs, we not going to play. And I've been waiting yeah. so long, and I, I got years of songs. Thank so you. So why not get them up? Well, why not drop a song every two weeks? Why not drop a song every week? Why not drop an album every week? Who can do that? Right, no doubt. I mean, all right, I mean, but look, if you got that many tracks, why EP? Now, why not the full length? Why? You know what I mean? Because they don't. Because until people start spending their money, they're gonna get the full length. Once so I'm gonna ride them like a bicycle. Right, right. You gotta, you know, feed them piece by piece. You can't, you know, yeah, give them more than they can chew. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't want to feed them too much. Right. You know, I ain't got, you know what I mean? I gotta keep some bullets in the, in the clip. I don't want to right. clip out. Let's go. You never want to empty your clip out. So no doubt. If you empty your clip out, this is what artists do. They burn themselves out, and they can't come with no new music. And then right. guess what? They stuck with no more new music. They got to go hustle up studio time. In the process of me dropping these songs, the EP, I got enough to drop seven EPs and two albums. That's how I mean. Okay. Songs that you got done. I'm they done. Finished. But let's go. Okay, so let's talk about, first let's talk about pressure. Okay, and then we want to talk about the title of the project, Toxic. You know what I mean? Tell me tell me about the song Pressure. You know what I'm saying? Okay, the song Pressure, that song is based on, I was thinking about everybody in the world have different type of pressure. Mm -hmm. Like, coming from the streets, our biggest pressure is dealing with niggas from the streets, the police, haters, dog-ass bitches, and right. even for the women. Because I might say the word bitches, I don't mean to describe all women, but they right. know who they're talking about. They know, people know who I'm talking about. Right. And for the women... Who has the baby daddy in jail? The homie homeboy getting at them. They gotta get their kids to school. They don't have no money. I'm talking about them too. Right. You feel? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm talking, real. I'm talking, I'm talking about everybody real. stressful. If you, in the intro tell you, every, I said everybody in America. I didn't miss no, not one beat. I just painted my picture. Right. Of my point and my pressure. No doubt. I didn't have police plant a gun on me. Yeah, yo. I yeah. have police do all type of foul, disrespectful things to me. And people right. believe, don't believe that it really happened. So that's why I put it out there like that. And no doubt. So I, so you're gonna so you're gonna drop you drop pressure and then you're just gonna, you know, drop the E P right after? No second single? No. For what? <laughs> for what, huh? It's time. Time is now. I'm I'm gonna drop another single though. I think I'm, I'm um in two weeks I'm gonna drop Pedro. Okay, let's run it. And Pedro gonna bust people's head back because they're not expecting me to rap that fast in the new, in the new, <laughs> you know, they're not, they're not gonna be ready for that. Right. And I got, a, I got, I got so many more songs. I got a song called 100 Bands I can drop. It's, I got so many songs I can do whatever I want to. So you got, um, you got any features on the EP? Not really. That's Thank you. And that's good. That's also good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Cause people, people go, people get to hear you. You know what I'm saying? And what you really gotta say. You know, I do got a feature on Pedro. I do got Pedro on a feature. I got no one. doubt, no doubt. But it was—it's like you know when I listen to Gang, you know, you know rapper Gang. Yeah, it's the homie. Yeah, and then when I listen to Game, it's like you know, he—he he dope and everything. But a lot of times, man, he talk about other people too much. You know what I'm saying? It's like yeah, I want to hear what you talking about. Because he ran out. Ran out of ran out of content. Ran out of substance. What? Yeah, he, he ran out. So only thing to do, he he letting the, he letting the people around him, or the negativity, make that his his music, and that's not what it's for. You know, you know, right. you know I'm like, get a beef with dude. Okay, you go lay one song with him, and you be over. Like Pop did that, but Pop did it a different way. When him right. and Biggie was beefing, he 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 name dropped, but he only did it one song. Right. Yeah, he keep doing it, right? Right. So. No doubt, man. So, so you got the new music coming out. You know what I'm saying? What's really sparked the whole revival in, you know what I'm saying, your current campaign? Oh, well, you got, well my cousin gave a, a famous country singer when he hopped in his car, and uh, he played Pedro. Oh, wow. And he was like, man, who is this dude? I want to find him. Where can huh. I find him? I want to buy it. Yeah, then another Mexican, Hispanic 
artist came. He heard Pedro. He wanted to find me, sign me. Look, I didn't have nothing out. People are not going to respect you in the industry unless you're on Spotify, iTunes, and you're doing something. Right. You have a million songs, but you're not nothing until you drop some of the major platforms. So I got with a, I got a, 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 a distribution company uh-huh. that held me, and I just I seen the door was open. I said I kept dropping. And, you know, the first day I got like 442 streams. Oh, not bad. That's all right, yeah. Compared to I mean, you know, yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I get it, you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, you know, I'm, I am you know, I specialize in, you know what I'm saying, helping people understand the value in, in themselves and, and, and what it, and everything it is that they do. You know what I mean? Like, the, the only reason that, that like, like, Wilson Block 100 Radio, we don't get those views. But what makes, what gives us value is the value that I put into it. You know what I'm saying? Well, I respect that. I you like know? that. So like that. you know them, them for them, them is four hundred plus quality streams. You damn right, nigga. Every one, every last one of them streams count. You know what I mean? So you know what I mean, shit. You know, it, it, as long as it, it ain't like it ain't getting none. You know what I mean? The first, the first day I did good, but then I, I jumped up. I, it was, I started out with two seventy seven, and the next day I jumped up to four seventy nine. Okay. It kind of slowed down. Yeah. It was, it was the marketing. It's all about yeah, marketing. exactly. No, hey, hey, man, don't even trip, cause when, when we get off the phone, man, we're gonna we're gonna come up with a little little strategy. You know what I'm saying on how to like you know keep the streams up, and I'm gonna we're gonna do everything we can on the Wilson block end. You know what I'm saying as far as adding the the actual sound, excuse me, the Spotify player to the to the site. You know what I mean? So when they do hear it, they get you know it counts as a stream. You know what I mean? And that's thing I think I messed up too. I I, I don't put my uh, bio link. I don't I don't do I, don't, I haven't done that. Yeah. yeah, man. See, look, man. I'm, 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 look, I'm gonna go ahead and put together your EPK. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be, you know, your photography, which you, uh, which those photos that you posted to the network, they actually dope. You know what I mean? Especially one where you're sitting back with the foot right there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? That go. I mean, as far as as far as the magazine cover, man, we gonna have to we gonna have to do something just for that though. But but those right there, you know what I'm saying? We can use those to promote some of the music. Oh man, you know I'm pushing this in the east. You done started something. I gotta go. I gotta go all the way with it because I'm right on my east side, baby. Since I was three years old, I don't know nothing but the east. So thank you. I, when you came with that in the east, you just sparked another idea. Let's run it, bro. You know, Let's run it. And, 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 idea. I might and, have to do an EP. I don't know. <laughs> hey, hey, bro. Hey, listen, man. You just don't drop it without your boy. You know what I'm saying? I, you know what I mean? I. You know. Thank you. Thank you. And, and then listen, look, look, uh, real quick, man, you know, <clears throat> this our this our third attempt at the interview. So, you know, for the record, man, I just really want you to go ahead and, and, and let people know about, you know, life growing up in Dina for you. My lifestyle in Pasadena, California, it has been a roller coaster. You know, yeah. I have good times. I have bad times. I'm affiliated with the gang member, the gang yeah. situation, and I also play college basketball. One. So, you was running point. Yeah, I play. You can Google me. I'm on for the for the Lancers. I'm on. The, I'm on Google. They tell you, I'm a legend out there as far as basketball. You said college, college basketball. Yeah. You talking about the Lancers? Yeah, I play for them. <laughs> Let's go. And I play for Jackson State in Alabama. I get on ESPN. Oh, that's what's up. I did my thing. So I had experiences on on the bad and the good. Right. You know what I mean. And that's why I'm I'm able to identify with my music the way I do. Because yeah. I'm really from the streets and I really made a choice to say, Okay, I'm gonna leave the streets alone and play basketball and really got sucked back into it. Right. And, and I finally gotta be become strong enough to be to figure out what's my avenue. Now basketball is over. So right. with me evaluating everything that went on in my city, I'm talking about I was there, I've been a victim of carjack shooting. Yeah. Uh I didn't see any people get killed. I witnessed 13 murders. I told, I said that before. And oh, well, I, let me ask you this, man. Um, you know, growing up in Pasadena, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, how were you able to, you know, like a, a lot of, you know, gangsters that grew up in Pasadena, they became rappers, you know what I'm saying? They ain't really been able to, you know, uh, uh, establish that fine line, you know what I'm saying, between their music and life and then, you know, their gangster life. And I know you're trying to really, you know, share your story and your music more so than, you know what I'm saying? Your background with the gang culture. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, I think my, mine starts because I've always been in theater of the arts all my life. Since I always had drama from the seventh all the way to twelve, all the way through college. <laughs> no doubt. And and I and I read poetry. I read Shakespeare. I read all Rembrandt. I, I read every all the everything. And I write poetry. I've been. I'm really into that. Like some like what Pac was, you could say. Yeah. But I never really proceeded to be an actor. You know, I was great at it, but that wasn't. My niche, Yo, that I wasn't your like, focus at the time. Nah, but I enjoy doing it when I'm doing it. You know what right. I mean? Like I didn't get, I didn't play Denzel Washington, Bill Cosby. I didn't yeah. do, we didn't just, I, so I didn't get so many stage performance shows to, I embrace that. And I find that people use music nowadays as a way of starting trouble. They don't, yeah. they don't use music as a way of, hey, I'm gonna let the world know exactly who I am. Right. I'm, born, I'm black. I don't have shit. My mom did me wrong. Right. Stepdad beat me. They scared to embrace that. Right. And I embrace it because right. if I don't, it's gonna turn to negativity. Right. And there's honor in that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And if it wasn't for that, I couldn't be who I am today. That part. So mm-hmm. that's how I'm able. I don't care about the game bang because game banging to me really was a setback. That wasn't a plus. That's not good to see. Talk about I wear a red flag. I seen a nigga turn the face of a mag. His body's in the bag. His mama crying. She said, you can't. I can talk about that. That's too easy. Right. That easy I make that up? Cause right. I seen it really happen. You right. know what I mean? I don't want to, I don't want to glamify that. Let but see, you know, one, and one, one, another reason why I respect that is because you could do that and, and it, it worked. You know what I'm saying? Because of who you are. It's not like you act, you perpetrate now here. I mean, you actually been through it. So, you know what I mean? If you actually did do that music, you know what I mean? It could actually work. You know what I'm saying? And, and I, I applaud you for, you know what I'm saying, taking the higher role. Because you got to look at how far you going to get with it. Right. You already got Nipsey. You got YG. Yeah. You got Game. You, they don't need another motherfucker doing that. We need some real shit out of it. for it. Let's go. Let's go. You feel me? <laughs> I need to hear some real shit. I don't yeah. need to brag about that. You, yes, I, I did it all. Been to prison. 12 year bid. I mean, come on, man. Right. We're going we gonna to keep talk about that or we going to. Right. And see, and see, yo, it's your story that is, 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 that's, excuse me, it's your story that needs to be told. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially what everyone else can relate to, just your common people around the world. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's different for us, but we all, the struggle is the same. It's struggle, struggle, struggle. You know what I mean? And people going to relate to that on, on all levels. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? That's that's what that is, man. So, you know, who who else have you been working with from the city, man? Let's 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 talk about it. Well, I work with Mike Towns. I work I worked at um uh, Monster Hits, mm-hmm. which is a uh uh hit hit boy's uncle. Yeah. Um I work with Nico, Nico Wright. Good, Shout out. Good, uh, I work with him. I only work with two people from dinner. Mainly everybody's been from Hollywood who I've been working with. Okay. They got lead from um over in Burbank Studios. Uh blame on Ronnie out of Hollywood. Right. And then look, you know I gotta ask you about, you know, the legendary Black Santa. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And the, you know, the, the his legacy that he left on the local music scene in Pasadena, you know what I'm saying? Who was Black Santa, bro? Well actually I didn't know I I just I me personally, at the time, I couldn't gravitate to him because I wouldn't really in the like I said, I would in the music when he was doing it. Cause he, okay. He, he was really, I just knew him as a, a homie walk on the street. You feel me? Right. I wasn't really into the music scene, but I knew he rapped. Right. And I wasn't he was in a rap at that time. I was really into basketball. Or right. Whatever I was into. Okay. I, I I I I didn't hear CDs, and he was probably one of the, one of the uh, influential dudes I hear with his music, along with the homie G Sleep, Murder Rock. Guys like that. Yeah. I was rapping Bad Luck. Yeah. Um, but see, uh, Fat Right, he was actually from the Vista, though. Yeah, he was. Yeah. So, so it, with, with, with him put on, it's like it, it's like with anything, it, it's going to rub off on you. You feel me? Right. If, it's you, if, it, if it fits you, it's going to rub off. So with him doing his thing, I guess it rubbed off on me. Cause I used to listen to his shit like he hard. You know what I mean? Right. And, um, so I always been a big rap fan. I grew up off of Spice One. Right. And that's my favorite rapper. Spice One. Uh 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 Big L was one of my bet was is the most my favorite rapper. 
Big L? Yeah, Dennis Tupac. Oh, what? Yeah. Uh, 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 bro, what track by Big L, bro? What track by Big L do uh, I need to hear, bro? Yeah, for my city, my hood. When he say my city, somebody with his city. <laughs> Whatever city. Uh, 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 when you talk about the Bronx and all that, you got okay. some hard. <laughs> Uh, it's so me he got like he got like seven good songs that I like from Big L. No doubt. Um, but uh uh Koozie Rap mm -hmm. was another one that I was highly influenced by. Yeah. So we we we, we, we with the homie rapping and going through all that, I was like, Yeah, I like that shit. But I never I never had the skill to sit down and write a rap or take the patience because mm -hmm. it takes patience. So watching him go through his channels and do it, I guess it's sprinkled on me. Right. Late. I had to blossom into what I had to be. You know what I mean? Right. So, he, 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 you gotta say he was in, influential in the movement. Well, and let me ask you this, man. Like, you know, considering, you know what I'm saying, growing up, you know, kind of fast and, 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 you know, more or less dangerous. Oh, oh shit, excuse me. Um, you know, what would you say, um, you know, how, how did you, you know, reach out and, and, and put yourself in different circles? You know what I mean? I, I never was. I never became into different circles. I always say, say east side. I never. I never. Well, I mean, I mean outside the city. You know what I'm saying? You say like you work with most oh, people in Hollywood and things like somebody that. Somebody else heard me and took me over there. Like my, I got a. Uh, I'm gonna still say a friend that we got into it, Mafia J. Mm -hmm. He heard me. He's like, man, you rapping out beat, man. You doing this? You doing this? I'm like, let me show you how it's done. So I went to him. He kind of like toned my skill because I already can oh, rap. Right. It was it was just a pattern of me slowing down, relax. And then I got with a good producer. When I got with a good producer, and he realized what I was doing wrong, just take out his word. And then after he, I started doing that, it was over. Oh, <laughs> no doubt. It was over. <laughs> rap. Right. And, and, you know what I mean? Then there was a point of me, which lane, who, what lane you gonna be rapping in? Are you a uh, Ty Dolla Sign? Well, wow. are you uh, Kevin Gates? Are you Jay Z? Because everybody got a different lane, right? And that's what people got to do. You know what I mean? I pick my lane, and I'm riding my lane, right? You know, I'm I'm, I'm Kevin Gates, uh, 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 money bag, yo. I'm, I'm but I'm a West Coast. Let's go. I'm not, I'm not Nipsey Hustle Lim Lane. I'm not YG Lane because I'm not finna. I'm not finna get up there. I do some West Coast music. I love it. I mean, you you, you fucks with J Rock shit. Uh, I like J Rock shit. I like I like I like it because he did his thing on win. Yeah. Oh yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Yeah, I like J Rock shit, but at, at the end of the day, I, I, I'm not in their lane. Kevin Gates not in J Rock lane. J Rock is J Rock, YG, uh, 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 RJ, all them niggas in that lane. Right. A street, a strictly for the streets. And so he did win, 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 which made him go over the oh, that put him in, in a different lane. Yeah. You know what I mean? So right now I'm in my Kevin Gates lane because I, I can do something that other MCs can't do. I can harmonize. I can I can right. change my to my vocals right. while I'm rapping, and a lot of people can't do that. And I can turn it off and go straight to street. I can go to West Coast. I, like I got a song called Six Four Swing and Bang. Yeah, I could put I could have put that out, but I haven't put that out because it identifies too much to the streets. When I relate to the streets. I want to make you sit your ass down, smoke a blunt, and be like, did you just say that? I can have one verse and pressure. I wish Pops would have shot me on the wall, let me dodge a spurn. Instead, I live as a human and eternally burn. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. You can't, you can't buy them lyrics. You well, thank you. Phone. Thank you. Hey, hey, bro, I really can't wait to buy this shit, man. Like, I want to pre-order this shit. Like, nah, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, we, from the East, like, we don't pay for nothing. We give it. We give our shit. We give our shit away. We we let some people out there go buy it. I don't right. know them. <laughs> right. See, see, you get it. You get it. You know what I mean? I don't know them. But see, that's what we went back earlier to say this. We, huh. I, we as people, man, ain't here to do. Everybody want to do is what everybody's doing, but everybody ain't here for that. Right. Yeah, I was saying the same thing, man. Everybody want to be an artist, but not everybody's an artist. You know what I'm saying? If you, you know, speaking, you know, for this, you know, fake, excuse me, sake of discussion, you know what I mean? <clears throat> it's like, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to go and apply to be a welder if that's just, if that's not what I do. You know what I mean? Because, you know, 
for shit, there's there's my own safety and there's the safety of others and all this other shit. Like, listen, bro, like you know what I mean. And that's why I applaud cats that you know, you know, still do this shit regardless of the fact. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, the Wilson Block magazine, that shit coming out regardless. You know what I mean? And, mm-hmm. and that's that's how we ended up making that shit a business is, you know, yeah, I just knew it was going to come out when it was supposed to come out. So that's that's pretty much, you know, our assurance right there. Hey, but but you see how quick, you see how you stay dedicated to it and your your dream is like growing. Is it? Mm-hmm. I mean, if you just look at the numbers, the numbers yeah. tell itself. That part. Like, it's you know taking I mean? shape, you know what I mean? Like, it's molding, you know what I mean? Like, I'm actually, like, looking back, like, you know, even this whole street sign t-shirt thing. Like, yo, man, this shit started from from me taking pictures of streets just to document the walks that we was doing for the causes. I'm like, okay, wow. we walk, you know, we walk from Altadena to Gardena to unite the, the Pasadena music scene. And, yeah, I did that on Putney. We started at Elliot, and we walked from Elliot all the way to Gardena High School, okay? And, uh... <laughs> You know what I mean? And uh, when we did that, man, it was real, it was special. You know what I'm saying? People didn't, you know what I'm saying, take it serious and shit. But, like, you know, for me, like, I, I really went to Gardena High School. I really went to Pasadena High School. I really went to Elliott Middle School. You know what I mean? So I just, you know, I'm a real Dina nigga. You know what I'm saying? In that sense, you know? Um, even before I moved to Pasadena, I was living in, I was going to school in Gardena. You know what I'm saying? Elementary school and shit. But uh but yeah, man, you know what I'm saying, Wilson Ave, that's that's where, you know, that's where my roots of Pasadena at, you know what I mean? And you know, that's where I spent more than half of my life. But uh, you know what I'm saying, speaking on the music, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, we got Toxic coming out on the ninth. You actually got a performance about to drop. Ten. Let's go. At the Ice House. At in Pasadena, California, let me put it out here. I'm trying to think about it because sometimes you, know, you can fool yourself, and, and, and you never want me to be too up, too down. Mm-hmm. Hey, y'all, it's Saturday, November 10th, on 33, 333 South Carroll, Pasadena, California, at the Kingston Cafe. Okay, Kingston Cafe, and for me, that's right below Del Mar. Yeah, it's a, it's a comedy show. Celebrities uh, and guests is going to be there. And uh, showtime starts at 8 o'clock to 10. Let's go. You about to go up there and do Pressure? I'm doing Pressure and a song called Ratchet. Have y'all seen that song? I can tell that she ratchet. Mm-hmm. By the way that she acted, mm. she's shaking and she's twerking it. She's snapping and she's popping it. She's hoping that we watching it. I can tell that she ratchet. Mm. By the <laughs> way that she acted. <laughs> go, Shawty. Go. Go, Shawty. That shit go here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. I can tell that she ratchet. By the way that she acted. The bitch give head in the back of a six tray. She can get it going off of Dr. Dre. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I just talked about a female that was ratchet, still your dope. I sent it back to you. <laughs> yeah, right, no doubt. Ooh, you know what I mean? So they want that song. I, I, I gave them a, uh, seven songs, and they picked Pressure and Ratchet. What? I'm going to do Ratchet, even though Ratchet ain't. Ratchet is a song that um I haven't fully, it's been mixed and all that, but um the beat ain't been cleared. Clear. Uh-huh. So I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to perform it. Can't nobody stop me from performing it because, right. you know, it was a free beat. So I used to pay for the free beats. I used to pay for everything. Uh, so I don't have to come back later on. Right. I want 100000 for you. Right. Well, you yeah, know, that's, that's how you do it. You know what I'm saying? You know, you got to, you know. I think what most artists don't, you know, what they tend to forget is that it's a, it's a real business aspect to this, man. You know what I mean? And, and that's really where I'm trying to come in at. Like, we ain't trying to sign artists. We're just trying to consult artists and let them know, you know, how to pursue what it is they're trying to do, you know. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? That's good that you, you know what I'm saying, you know, handle that business up front like you're supposed to. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, man, so what would you say, you know what I'm saying, is, is the is the goal with this first project? You know what I'm saying? What are you trying to see happen? Uh, I just want to build numbers. Yeah. Um, 
So like I tell you, I got I got like what I'm gonna do is the way I'm gonna drop my music and it's gonna be a continuance. Where you're gonna always they are like, damn, he dropped another one. Damn, he dropped another one. Then I say like around January tenth or ninth, I'm gonna drop the twenty sixth album, song album. Uh Gemini? Yeah. What and that's already ready, huh? It, no, it's not ready, but I, I got four songs done. Okay. But, um, it's going to be more hip hop You're going to hear more. You're going to get to hear my real artists. So right. The thing I'm using this, this music as a platform of, I really want to, I want to, I got a movie I want, I got in my head that I even wrote and a book I want to get published in my life. Uh-huh. My life has been real. It's not been fake. It ain't been tainted. It ain't, it's not made up. It's not like, you know. Right. It ain't. It's 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 it's, it's nonfiction, bro. It's nonfiction. I'm hey, nigga. You go again, nigga. <laughs> That's another title. Yeah. It's Let's been go. I, I really been shot. I ain't never shot myself. You know what I mean? Right. I really been stabbed up in prison. I had to do what I had to do to get out of there. Right. But you know, um, I really did twelve years. Um, not at one time, but not as well. You stay if you stay out six days or thirty days. I said one time. Right. You know what I mean? So I really seen it all. Mm-hmm. The life, the basketball life, and the street life. Wow. I really, I really done bought keys of cocaine. I really done worked for niggas in the streets. I really, I mean, come on, man. Right. I know. I mean, here. Like, well, nigga, uh, they be trying to talk about the age limit. I said, hey, age limit on speech. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, let me ask you this, man. So, you know, what do you tell young dudes today? You know what I'm saying? Especially the ones that, you know what I'm saying, that's, you know, in the life. Oh, I'll give it to them raw and uncut. No doubt. <laughs> I tell them, the homie, and this goes for anywhere. I don't care if you're a crib, blood, whatever you is. Mm-hmm. That word homie is only going to go so far. But mm-hmm. the word friend is eternity. Word. So you thinking these cats your homie, and he tell you to go break in the house, you get cracked and you get killed in that house, what are you going to tell your mama? He probably won't tell your mama nothing. Well, I don't know what happened. More than likely, that's what's going to turn out. So if you thinking that's your homie and you neglecting your family, you're a fool. That part. So I tell him the real. I'm like, gang banging ain't, ain't it's fake. You know, like Santa Claus fake. You, you, I ain't never seen a ranger fly in the sky. <laughs> and I have never seen a real game member become president uh, on the board of council. Mm. <clears throat> and the, the, the game member that make it out, they do be successful as in his music. They probably want to come back to their hood. Right. So game banging, we know it's not real. That's something mm-hmm. that was implemented to the destructors. And I fell victim to it. And I tell the youngsters that too. Why you hate no this dude? Because he's he wearing blue. What if I was colorblind? That part. Hey, what would it be then? Like, what would it be? It'd be something else. Right. You know what I mean? That's just how the devil works. Right. And I said, too. I'm like, bro, it ain't real no more. It wasn't real when I did it. It was, I don't know what it was, but it wasn't what y'all do. So, hey, I, just, I just give it to them honest, man. And they can accept or reject it. I don't care. Just go buy the CD. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt, man. Toxic dropping November 9th. You know what I'm saying? Where can people, you know what I'm saying, follow you online? Oh, they can follow me on YouTube, underscore 100. They can go on my IG, C. Bush, Briscoe the Don 100. Or they can go to my other IG, which is strictly Briscoe 100. But C. Bush is my music. You know? He's okay. the one that gets you. And uh, anything, if you, if you want me to hop on anything, we can talk business. If you need me to do anything for anybody I, that I can help, I'm going to do it. That's you know right. what I mean? Especially when it comes to music. Because I love music. I, I love it. It's like therapeutic for me. Right. You know? And what's crazy about my, about my songs I'm dropping, I never wrote nothing. Well, you all just, you just off the top? Yes. What? Pressure was off the top? Oh, yes. No, 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 it wasn't. Okay. I mean, yo, man, once you got your hook, you got your song. You know what I'm saying? You know. I'm, I'm a hook king. Let's go. And especially, I just switched up my style a little bit and, and, and to make my delivery sound more powerful because that's what I was lacking, my delivery. Right. 
first time I work, but it's going down. And that's what makes it sound so raw. Like I got the, the bomb ass producer named Millie. Mm hmm. And uh, he, he the one. When I let you hear that song, they don't make them like me anymore. You're going to hear why. That's a hit. I'm dropping that. Probably. It's going to be a single. I'm waiting for him to get, uh, to put the mix on it. And I'm dropping. Everybody want to hear that. Every, everybody. It's all in the land right now. <laughs> they don't make them like me anymore. They don't make them like me anymore. Hundred rats, fifty rats, all on the floor. Tripping them clothes, get shipped to your door. They don't make them like me anymore. <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> all right, hey man, you got some bars you you could drop on this real quick. Oh, for sure. I'm always ready to drop bars. Let's go. Nine out of ten niggas don't want to see you rich. Eight out of ten niggas are probably fucking rich. Seven out of ten niggas are probably turn snitch. That's six out of ten niggas and niggas on this. Five out of ten niggas you can't trust. Four out of ten niggas a situation won't bust. Three out of ten niggas, he ain't safe. And that two out of ten niggas will make his own mistakes. That leaves one out of ten niggas leaving you by yourself. When you leave here, motherfucker, you leaving here by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. That's just a small small sample. No uh, doubt, man. Of what I was just thinking of right now. Um but my new style is so, so different, bro. It's on another level. Yeah. And, I guess it's going to have to buy that project and see, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. My money come in different stacks. I don't know how to act now. My 40 pound is coming in my black now. It's in the clip with a beam on it. Brad, I'm in the chick, you want to see on it. See some fashion running with diamonds while I'm shining, pushing the European. I done smoke so much, smoke so much, I done smoke so much, cause I'm not a human being. I'm flying around in this flying saucer. This 45 to keep you right up off me. With too many problems, I can't find a solution. I'm addicted to this fucked up constitution. A black male that's broken, I'm constantly losing. <laughs> uh, man. So that's what it is, man. Briscoe 100, man. I just want to thank you for coming through for this exclusive interview. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, I, I, I had to force that out because I, 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 I'm really so into talking right now. So it's hard for me to, to, to switch all, switch gears like when I'm, yeah. you know what I mean, like that. But yeah, I, got good. It for real. I, I got it for real. For real. Yeah, I know you do, yeah. man. Ain't no, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no, uh, you know, people can check me out. They can hear that I'm real. You feel me? I ain't, right. I ain't shit for nothing. But, you know, I'm always going to represent the Wilson Black. He's sorry. He's sorry. Thank you. 100. Hey, man, Chris, but hey, man, that really mean a lot, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I like to see myself as a thorough one, man. I mean, I was really, I was really out I there. I remember you just grinding. Yeah. Nigga, you, you, I remember you, the CD was blue. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you. Said, you had a, a whole bunch of them. You were selling them in front of the stores. I might remember that. Let's you go. Laughing, pointing. Right. Now who laughing? And it was cold as the movie ain't even started yet. <laughs> that part. Tell them. Let them know. But I appreciate being on this radio stuff, for, um, this little uh, network. Yeah. And and get everybody go support your boy, man. And, um, see what we can do. Make some noise and shit. Let's do it, man. We riding with you all the way, man. You know what I'm saying? We gonna we gonna give you a special well, touch. You know what I'm saying? We might even up. we might even do a special edition out this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Because and we, we and 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 yeah, yeah, we, it's it's coming. And uh, you know, <clears throat> everybody listening, man, make sure y'all check out. You know, what I'm saying Briscoe 100, uh, project dropping yeah. in a couple days. You know, what I'm saying toxic. And uh, I'm definitely, you know, what I'm saying I'm definitely gonna check it out. Probably, you know, what I'm saying hit, you know, put a review out there. I'm taking all the opinions, good opinions, bad, because that's what makes somebody good. Only way to become great right. is to fail. That part. You, if you think you're great and everybody's patting you in the back, they're lying to you. <laughs> Word. So, everybody give me your honest opinion, and I'm going to take it. Whether it's bad or good, I respect it. Right. And that's one thing um, being an athlete has taught me. You got to go You gotta go down before you go up, baby. Right. Word. All right, Briscoe 100, man. We're going to holler back at you, man. Thanks for coming through. What's some block, east side? Yeah.